I'm Amy and I just recently moved to Canada on an IEC working holiday visa with my boyfriend Mike. So upon landing in the country we had to do two weeks quarantine and then the video you're about to see is our first half of our first week allowed out and about which as you can imagine we were beyond excited for. Um, the rules in Vancouver at this point were just very similar to what they have been in the UK at points, masks everywhere, no mixing outside your household which was fine by us because we only knew each other and you could take your mask down if you were sat in a restaurant or bar at your table for example. Um, so yeah, let's show you what we got up to. Good morning, today's the day, the sun is shining, the tank is clean and we're going outside further than our patio. <laughs> the sun isn't actually shining, it's looking very gloomy but we've wrapped up warm, roasting alive in here and say something. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're going outside. It's Very first order of business. Mike took the recycling out. We're leaving. And we've broken the lock. <laughs> Look at this Canadian street with all its eccentric houses. Eclectic. Yeah. I like the pink one. Ooh, look at that one. Good to see we've got the essentials. <laughs> You've left me in the sea once before, this is nothing. We're in Bath and Body Works. We smelled it before we saw it. I'm understanding the candle obsession. We have a little fun to go on the sanitizer, then go in your key, packaging in the store, it's second. Obviously my first meal out of quarantine is poutine, the reason I came to this country. Mike's gone for, what was it, a wok place. <laughs> and we're just saying we can't believe we didn't get a takeaway at all the whole time we're in quarantine. Canada must have changed us. Canada, light years ahead of us with the pay by card parking. Hello from the pub. <laughs> We've come in because it was happy hour. It is very quiet because it's about three o'clock on a Monday afternoon. Um, but they have these amazing comfy chairs which we have sank down into because we are not used to standing up and walking around um, but it's really nice in here and I've ordered a vodka and soda and Mike's ordered a beer and looking forward Pub doesn't 100% feel like the right word it is like an absolutely enormous building and as I say dead because everyone's at work how are you enjoying the drinks Mike? Oh, I'm going to get wasted, put that in the oven and smoke it. <laughs> Hiya, we are back from our first day out in Vancouver. Um, we didn't get back till about seven, which was unexpected. I thought we'd be absolutely knackered and home by about half two. But we had a really good time. Um, we didn't really have a clue where to go or what to do, so we were just coasting by on the recommendations of our Uber driver. He dropped us off on like a street of restaurants and bars. Um, and he'd also mentioned about a shopping centre so we went there and we headed to a bar that we'd seen with happy hour on for 3.50 pints and it was really good Canadian customer service is as good as they say it was second to none it was like an absolutely massive cavernous building with a pub on one side and a restaurant on the other 
and we got a choice of where we wanted to sit and the pub side was nicer but the restaurant side was busier because it was like afternoon on a Monday work hours um, and we were Mike was saying like shall we sit on the restaurant side so we don't get forgotten about like we would in England even if we'd wanted to sit somewhere else but we sat in the pub side and the guy because it was table service with Covid and the guy could not have come round more it was a bit like well yeah we're fine that's enough <laughs> was not right. um, but yeah, so we had some nice drinks. Oh, had a really nice day. Weird wearing a mask after being out of the COVID hubbub for so long. Uh, face is feeling a bit dry <laughs> after that. But overall, just a really good day. Really exciting to see stuff. Also, got really giddy on the taxi in, um, seeing fire hydrants on the road. And you know, in American films, how people are just always like on the roof chilling. Like, not roofers, just random people. Like, putting the Christmas lights up or whatever, with no, not a care in the world. On the taxi ride in, saw that. Saw a man just on his roof, just wandering around. <laughs> um, so that was really cool. Hi there. So today is day two of us being allowed out and about in Vancouver. Um, it's currently about one o'clock in the afternoon, and we've not headed out yet. So part of the reason for that is because it's really not very inviting out there. Um, pretty grim. And the other part is because we have been quite overwhelmed with all the life admin stuff that we've been putting off while we've been in quarantine. Um, so we've just been spending the morning like researching how to do the things that we need to do, getting some of them done online. Um, so now we are heading out, we are going to try and get our SIN number, which is the equivalent of a UK national insurance number. As per usual, COVID has messed it up. Normally you can just walk in, get it within about half an hour by the sounds of it and leave. But they're trying to do it in a contact free way at the moment um but we need ours quite urgently due to the fact that we're starting work next week so i'm dressed in my most corporate ensemble in the hope that um that'll help our case so just get in get it done today corporate but still cozy obviously so fingers crossed that they will let us do that and take pity on us and then we are also going to try and get our sim cards for our phones um, Canadian sims are notoriously rubbish, like no gigs for loads of money. Um, but opportunely, it is Black Friday and all the Black Friday deals at the moment, which was not planned. We weren't even meant to arrive this week, but it is really handy when we're just trying to get things set up. Um, so hopefully we'll find a good deal with that. And then this morning we have been trying to work out how to get from here in Vancouver to Calgary which is where the shuttle bus is picking us up from to start our winter season. Um, so we are currently in talks with some car rental places and it looks like that may be sorted. Um, and once we get our SIN number sorted, we can sort out our bank accounts. But with today being such a grey gloomy day, it's not like we want to be out and about going around Stanley Park or anything. So it is a reasonably good day to get this done and hopefully we'll be very successful and like just be done by the end of it, it would be brilliant. <laughs> But I'll let you know how we get on and we'll see you in a bit. Got corporate in the front, backpacker in the back. <laughs> but I was limited as to the number of bags I could bring and I've got to bring a lot of important stuff with me today. So this is the look. Got our SIN numbers. Can't believe how easy that was actually. It took about an hour to wait, but we were rocking up and expecting to get turned away immediately. Didn't even have to plead, didn't have to explain, nothing. She was just like, yep, yeah, cool, take a seat over there, please. And we waited. My guy did ask if it was an appointment. And oh, I said it? no, and then he didn't say anything else after that. So. <laughs> Maybe he just didn't hear it. <laughs> Mike's guy was very soft spoken. Um, but my mum was chatty. To the book, stand over there please, sit down, don't approach the perspective glass. Um, I found it very funny that I called a snood a snood, they call it a ski mask. Because <laughs> um, she was saying when we go on the ski resort, everyone will have to wear a mask, I was like, well, we'll just wear a snood. Um, she got her colleague over and was like, um, is it like what she's wearing? Mavis, get over here, is it this? <laughs> and then Mavis was like, mine's actually a military <laughs> style of what they wear in the army. And then they were joking about us being in um, in war, <laughs> asking oh. the COVID situation in the UK. 
But yeah, the point being, with regards to the sin, we got there, we asked for one, we waited in a queue, we went into the office, and we got given it. And what centre did we use? Sinclair. And yeah, no issue. And we'd been told, like, we couldn't book an online, an appointment. So we rang up and got told that only in really limited, rare circumstances were they giving them. Um, and then, yeah, as I say, walked in with no issue, so would recommend. But yeah, we've got SIN numbers, and now we're going to go see if we can get a bank account, because that closes at five. And then we're going to go see about the phone, because that doesn't close till seven. Mike thinks we're here, but it looks quite grand to me. I'm not sure if it's like some kind of owned by the bank offices. The only way to get a bank account is go to the tap. <laughs> let's go, let's try. Okay, this bit looks more like it. Got the job ticked off, we've got our card, got our bank account. We actually walk out with it in Canada because they don't emboss your name onto it. So if you just come out with it the same day, we've got a debit card, a credit card, and a savings account, and a SIN number. So a very successful day. Now we're going to go try and get our phone number and that'll be us done. And I've got to say earlier because I was too engrossed in our anecdote, but at the thin office you just go into like a little cubicle with the plexiglass that's everywhere now and they ask for your mother's name, maiden name, your father's name and your Canadian address. And that's all we have to give them. That's all you have to give them. Yeah. Right, onwards to the phone. Phone shop. It's five to six and we are totally set up to live in Canada. Got our SIM card, got our SIN number, got our bank accounts. Woohoo! Much more productive day than we expected, so that's brilliant. And crazily, you don't have to pay anything or give any bank details at the phone shop. They just trust that when it comes time, you'll be paying. They do have our passport information, but still very trusted, I'd say. We're coming home. We're back in duty free. <laughs> that must be our plane getting announced. I am kidding, it's actually a shop. We're just looking for a brother. These look suspect. But I can't decide if these might be nice. After a very successful day, we're just finishing off doing some e-learning that we've got to do before our job. Unfortunately, we didn't do it during quarantine because we didn't know we had to. And then we got the email reminding us we needed to do it within five days on the last day of quarantine. So that's always fun. But we're on a roll today, so don't stop us now. <laughs> Mike's got to the training on working in extremely cold conditions and it's having something of a breakdown. <laughs> How are you feeling, Mike? I'm cold. <laughs> I know. Forgetful of days. Stop it! <laughs> you stop it. <laughs> Go on, not you laughing at. I'm laughing at you with your face, Mark. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you look like you killed someone and wearing their face. <laughs> <laughs> I think I look like someone who's checked off her to do list for the day and is enjoying a bit of pampering and some hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what did we agree on? <laughs> no laughing. <laughs> I can't even see your teeth. It's bigger than slip. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've just seen that it's raining until 8am tomorrow, which really scuppers our plans to wake up at dawn and do a run around the seawall, doesn't it, Mike? What a good feeling. Only one left to do is order bed into the resort. We have to provide our own duvet and pillows, etc. Which we do need to get on because Amazon shipping is behind due to Black Friday. But nonetheless, I think that's probably the easiest one of the of the lot. So we did all that within a day. Happy Hi. days. So it's the next day. We got all of our e-learning done last night, thank God. Um, and now we are heading out for a day of fun. So we think we're going to go to Gastown, which is the oldest part of Vancouver um, and like just a highly recommended area to go to. And 
I don't know what else we're going to do. Have a bit of a walk. It's going to be more of an outside and day. And I've also just attached my Safe Travels Angel pin to my coat today, which was a birthday present from my mum's dog, obviously. So thanks, Bella. Thanks very much. Loving it. Um, and lo and behold, it's not raining. It's actually quite pleasant. So yeah, we're really excited. It's a fun day today. Yesterday was a life admin day. And now it's all out of the way. I'm feeling a lot of stress and ready to rumble drink party enjoy yeah the point being let's go have we've just been to the post office and now we are off to granville island for some lunch our first glimpse of blue sky since we've been allowed out mike care to explain the traffic light system um i'm not really sure which way we're facing but one of them is a, a chirrup <laughs> and one of them is a chirp <laughs> you'll see <laughs> the chirps aren't working, all the chirrups. But they also don't have any buttons, they just keep changing. What a constant countdown, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to catch a water taxi to lunch. <laughs> We've got like blue skies over here. Moody skies over here. <laughs> Max regretting his food choices. <laughs> What did you get? Nothing. He got a sausage and pierogi. So we just found this really fancy restaurant that we stumbled into because it's about the only bar open on Granville Island and it was happy hour but opportunely it's also Wine Wednesday where all bottles of wine are half price so we've treated ourselves to the fanciest bottle bar we've probably ever had $50 blue bottle it's not called blue bottle <laughs> for Shadow and it tastes like apple juice basically doesn't it? yeah amazing Make sure you got secured items on. It's kind of Brownie song. That was the most fun I've had all day. <laughs> you spent all day with me. <laughs> well, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and after that five star review of what it's like to spend time here with me and be in Vancouver, um, I'm going to leave the video there. But I'll show you what we got up to in the rest of our time in Vancouver in the next video. See you then. Bye.